download the new macaroni blaster on your phone? No, I tried to, but I couldn't get the game on this. Oh, man. My phone is kind of old, and I'm not getting a new one until Christmas. You have to try it, though. The whole school's playing. Uh, but, but that's okay. You can use my phone. Nice. Thanks. Uh-huh. Where is that Jimmy? Have either of you talked to him today? No, nope, not today. Oh, the macaroni. Mm -hmm. Jimmy to the bus. Jimmy to the bus. You got less than one minute and then we're leaving without you. I'm coming. Hold on. I'm coming. Five, four, three. <gasps> Made it, and with time to spare. So question, if hypothetically I was to miss the bus, does that mean I would get to stay home and play video games all day? Have a seat, Jimmy. Hmm. <sighs> hey, Ellie, Casey. Happy first day of school. Barf. Uh, but on the bright side, at least we get to play Macaroni Blaster at recess. Oh my gosh, is everyone playing this except me? Oh, hey, Jimmy, what level did you get up to? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but I made it up to level 87 yesterday. Yep, looks like I'm the best player in the school. <laughs> level 87? <laughs> what a noob. Last night, I got up to level 96. <laughs> Read it in weeks. 96? Oh, no way. Macaroni blast off right now. Oh, you are so on. Ready, set, go. I'm never going to catch up at this point. Yuck, why is my phone so old? What am I going to do when the whole class is playing Macaroni Blaster? Except me. Blast, blast. Oh, don't worry, Ellie. Your phone's not that old. Yeah, I'm sure in a couple weeks your app store will have it and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Ellie, look at that. We have the same kind of phone. We're phone twins. Mm. Uh, could you teach me how to do one of those texts? Uh, Co Coach Rocco, not such a good idea. Oh, I can't show up to class with this old phone, everyone. I can't go to school today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Ellie, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, great going, Coach Rocco. You just had to do the phone twins thing. But I thought phone twins was... Lit. It's just not what she wants to hear right now. All right, everyone, if you want to help us get Ellie back for the first day of school, give us a big thumbs up. I'm going to find her first. No, I'm your wife. Hey, get back here, Jimmy. I, I always thought phone twins was groovy. Can you dig it? Ellie! Oh, come on, Ellie, come on out. We were just kidding about Macaroni Blaster. It's not that amazingly fun. Yeah, and honestly, I've beat Ginny so many times at this point, I'm pretty much over it. You can beat me. You've never beaten me once beat at Macaroni Blaster. Beat me like Blaster. five times this morning. My score's way more. Like, you know what? <laughs> we are just going to have to have another blast off later. For now, we have to focus on finding Ellie. All right, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna look for Ellie here by the pool. And you can look for her wherever. I don't care, over there. Fine. Oh, so you get to go look by the pool. How convenient. <laughs> well, I'm going to find her first. Wait a minute. What do we have here? Two tents. Ha! Jackpot. I'm so going to find Ellie first. Ellie, I know you're in there. It's just a matter of which one. Oh, got it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. Ellie needs a new phone, and you are here. Ha! Ready or not, here comes Casey. Oh, come on, Ellie, where are you? I'll let you play an extra round of Pizza Blaster on my phone. Hello? Oh, hey, Casey, this is Jimmy. Casey didn't know, uh, I'm at the pool, by the way, and I'm thinking about doing some underwater spinneroonies. Jimmy, I told you not to get in the pool! We are supposed to be looking for Ellie. Oh yeah, about that. Uh, well, if you don't want to go to the pool with me, I guess I'll just jump in all by myself. <laughs> See ya. Oh, you are so done when I find you. Ellie, did you go in for a dip? Oh, glad to see you are having so much fun while I'm looking all over the place for Ellie. What do you mean? I'm looking for her too. Oh yeah, so doing underwater spin roonies counts as looking for Ellie? <laughs> you are so hilarious. Underwater spin roonies Great idea. But no, I wasn't swimming. Do I even look wet to you? But you just had your face in the water. 
I wasn't actually swimming. I was just looking. That you know, still counts as getting in the pool. I told I you not to do so. that. We're supposed to Are you really two amazing. squabbling again? Aren't you supposed to be looking for Ellie? I was looking for Ellie, but then Casey came in talking about underwater spinneroonies, which I'm totally going to try, by oh. the way. Da, da, da. Underwater spinneroonies was my idea, so I get to try it first. Oh, after we find Ellie. Well, if you're looking for Ellie, she's over there running away. Come on! Ellie! All this searching for Ellie's making me hungry. Phew! They won't suspect me in here. Finally, I get some time to relax and think about my next plan. Oh, can't run away forever. Coach Rocco! Coach! Oh no! Jimmy and Casey are here! How do they find me? Think, Ellie, think! What do I do? What do I do? Hey, come out, coach. We have a question. Yeah, can you settle this for us? <sighs> coach, can you open up? We need you to settle something. Coach, can you come out here and please tell Casey that I have won the spookiest Halloween costume four years in a row? You were a baby butterfly last Halloween. How on earth is that supposed to be scary? I was not a butterfly. I was a vampire. Coach, get out here. Oh, well, howdy there, kids. I was just cleaning the bus in there. You sure do know how to leave a big mess behind. <laughs> uh, Coach, you look a little weird. Stop changing the subject, Casey. Coach, can you please tell Casey that I was a spooky vampire for Halloween last year? A uh, vampire? I thought you were a fluttering baby butterfly. Ha ha ha, see? I told you. I give up. <laughs> I guess nobody knows what a vampire looks like anymore in this crazy, crazy world. You know, with the fangs and the tape and the spooky makeup. Oh, hey, Coach, have you seen Ellie anywhere? We've been looking everywhere. Oh, uh, Ellie? No, no, I haven't seen her at all. Um, But, uh, oh, I have a perfect idea. In order to get Ellie back, we've got to clean the bus. Clean the bus? How is cleaning going to help us get Ellie back? Well, well, of, of course, who could resist a spotless bus? As soon as we scrub this baby clean, she won't be able to resist coming back here and going back to school. Oh, man, a scrubbing contest? I am so in. You're going down, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, ready, set, go. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Rocco! Coach Rocco? But I'm Coach Rocco. There's two Coach Roccos? Don't tell me there's two Jimmies, too. Okay, fine, you got me. It's me, Ellie. Ellie Sparkles. Now, why have you been hiding all this time? And why don't you want to go to school? That's not like you. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. It's just I'm in embarrassed to be the only person at school without the newest and coolest phone. And everyone at recess is going to be playing macaroni blaster while I'm just going to be standing there doing nothing. Everyone will think that I'm super weird. Weird? <laughs> Ellie Sparkles weird? Now, I could be a little weird, but you? No, you're funny, yes. Smart, yes. You're good at gym, yes. But weird? Nope. You really think so? I know so. And I also know that your friends are not going to like you less because of the type of phone you have. I mean, do you like Jimmy for the type of sneakers he has? No. I mean, I've never even seen Jimmy's sneakers. I like Jimmy because he's, well, Jimmy. I know, exactly. You know what? That makes total sense, Coach. You're so right. <laughs> so what do you say we hop on the bus and start the day all over again? You know what? Let's do this. First day of school. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Ellie, you're back and just in time to see me win the scrubbing contest. Oh, no way. Jimmy, look, your basketball's rolling away. <laughs> oh, 
I've been duped. <laughs> we ready to go to school, you guys? <laughs> yes, give us like 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> I gotta beat Jimmy first. Gotta get those hard to reach places. Oh, come on, get on the bus, we gotta go. We're gonna be late. All aboard. Powers is super cleaning? Huh. Him help with cleaning? That's the last thing he's gonna do. <sighs> well, at least on the bright side, we have this wonderful fresh lemonade for us to drink. Super Jimmy! How did you two know that lemonade is Super Jimmy's favorite drink? Don't mind if I do. Super Jimmy! Ah, now that's refreshing. Here you go, Coach Rocco, hold my cup. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm off to save the day. Jimmy! Oh gosh, you know I'm getting sick of Super Jimmy. He's always using his excuse of having superpowers to make a super mess for us to clean up. I wish there was an arch nemesis that could put that Super Jimmy in his place. <gasps> an arch nemesis? That gives me a great idea. Maybe a superhero with even better superpowers than Super Jimmy's. Where, where are you gonna find another superhero? There's only one girl for the job. Super Ellie to the rescue. Boys and girls, if you wanna see Super Ellie take down Super Jimmy, give me a big thumbs up. All right, coach, I'm off to save the day. <laughs> Go get him, Super Ellie. <laughs> <sighs> time to get a little reading done. I think I'll read a passage from my favorite book of all time. The Adventures of Super Jimmy, volume one, about the greatest superhero the world has ever known. Me! Oh, Super Jimmy, you're so super brave, so super strong, so super good at basketball. Will there ever be another superhero as brave as you? I certainly doubt it. What's that? What's going on? Huh? Huh? Somebody! Coach Rocco! Ellie! Help! Did somebody say it? Help? <laughs> Who are you? Well, it is I, the newest, bravest superhero in town. Super Ellie! Super Ellie? Did you just say the newest, bravest superhero in town? Well, clearly you haven't met Super Jimmy. He has the most awesome powers in the world, like this one. Super Jimmy! Super Jimmy! That was not bad, Super Jimmy. But can Super Jimmy do this? Ah! Oh, big deal. So Super Ellie can make it thunder and lightning, huh? Well, that's what clouds are for, not superheroes. If you're a real superhero, then I suppose you must have your own super special super theme song, like this one. Super Super Jimmy! He's totally awesome! You know, that was a really cute theme song, Jimmy. Just super, super adorable. That was the improved version of the song? I never would have guessed. Now, are you ready to hear what a real superhero theme song sounds like? Hit it. She's super early, using her powers, running the bad guys, saving the world. I do admit that is kind of catchy. Oh, but big deal. Anyone can write a catchy melody. To be a real superhero, you need to have something super special. And I know for a fact that Super Ellie does not. A comic book. Read it and weep, Super Ellie. The Adventures of Super Jimmy. This makes me a real superhero. Well, I guess you're right, Jimmy. You know what? A comic book does make you a real superhero. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. It's a good thing that I have one, too. Super Ellie, Volume 1. I guess what happens in the first chapter. You saved the world from aliens? Mm -hmm. And that's just the first page. Oh, I've had enough of these lies. That's it, Super Ellie. Whether or not you are a real superhero, this house ain't big enough for the two of us. Yeah, you know what? I agree. We're gonna have to go head to head. Super Jimmy versus Super Ellie. You know what this means? Superhero battle! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
finally away from all that superhero stuff. Nothing like peace and quiet by the pool. Coach Rocco, Coach Rocco, please, can you tell Super Ellie that Super Jimmy is the coolest superhero, way cooler than her? Give me a break. Super Jimmy here seems to think that he's the only one with superpowers. Well, we need you to decide who the better superhero is, and we all know it's Super Ellie. No, it's me. It's well, me. there goes my peace and quiet. All right, look at this yard. It's full of sports equipment and, and pool toys. Use your superpowers to clean up this mess. Oh, no problem, Coach. I'm on it. All right, play the new and improved Super Jimmy theme song. Super, Super Jimmy. He's totally awesome. He's doing spin of ruinous. Cooler than Super Ellie. Jimmy. What is that, the third version of your song now? And it's still not as good as the Super Ellie song. Activate Super Jimmy Super Speed! Whoa, well done, Super Jimmy. Now this is the Super Jimmy I can get used to. Super Jimmy does it again, and in record time. Uh, not so fast, Super Jimmy. I see you missed one toy over there. Oh, she's got you there, Super Jimmy. <laughs> the, the yard's not completely clean. This is just a simple miscalculation. You see, I was going so fast that I must have missed it. But don't worry, I'll activate my super speed again and get the job done. Or we can do it the faster way. Super Ellie Laser Beam! <laughs> And now, Coach Rocco, you have a clean yard. Oh, whoa! Did you see that, Super Jimmy? Can you do that, make something disappear and reappear again? What are you talking about? With my super speed, I picked up like 10 things. She only got one. Yeah, well, if you hadn't had a head start, I would have picked everything up first. It's just you had to go first, of course. <laughs> Come on, Coach Rocco, is there anything else we can do to prove who's the better superhero? Hmm. Well, I did lose my keys. Maybe you could use your superpowers to find them. The, the living, living room, room couch. couch! Oh, Super Jimmy's on the job. I'll beat you there. Not if I get there first. No, 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 no. I'm gonna find it. Not if I find it first. I have the finding skills. Where are you? Are what you? is going on here? Look at this mess. Oh, hey, Coach Rocco. There's a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. I just don't know what it is. <sighs> Tell him, Ellie. Uh, I guess Super Jimmy and I were getting a little bit carried away trying to prove who the better superhero was. Guys, guys, the world can use more than one superhero. Now, there are a lot of good deeds to be done. Now, why don't you two try working together? Think of all the things you could accomplish. Well, I guess if me and Super Jimmy did combine our powers, we could do a lot of good. Yeah, if we combine my super strength, my super speed, my super good looks with your ability to do whatever it is that you do, we just might be able to save the world. Yeah, sounds great, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, see, you'll get a lot more done if you work together rather than fighting all the time. So, um, I got a mission for you. Why don't you clean up this mess? You know what? We're on it. Hey, Ellie, I was thinking, to wrap this whole charade up, what if we did one last superhero song? One that combines both of our theme songs. A superhero theme song with Super Jimmy and Super Ellie? That sounds really, really catchy. Let's do it. <laughs> Boys and girls, don't be afraid. Just say the names and they'll be on their way. It's Super Jimmy and Super Ellie to save the day. We're going to spin the wheel to see which costumes we're going to wear this year. Casey's going first. Let's do this. Three. Two, one, spin! It landed on Ghost! Yes, 
super easy to make and extra spooky. <laughs> I totally got shot at winning that costume contest this year. Um, excuse me, did you just say costume contest? Because you must know that Ginny has won the scariest costume contest four years in a row. And this year, I'm going for number five. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see us make Casey's ghost costume, hit that thumbs up button. Let's do this, Casey. All right, see you, Jimmy. Boop. Ghost Schmost, I got this costume contest down. Easy peasy. Hey, Coach, have you any good ideas on what we could use for Casey's ghost costume? Oh, a ghost. Uh, well, you could use a tablecloth or you could use uh, toilet paper. But I have to warn you, we're a little bit low on TP. We can fix that! <laughs> look, we found all the toilet paper and we didn't really have to look that hard. Where did you find all of that? I hope it's not the last. Oh, I think it's time to put on Casey's ghost costume, right, Casey? You yeah. can stand over there and put your arms straight out. <laughs> Coach, here's a couple of toilet paper rolls, and <laughs> we'll just get started on wrapping. Three, two, one, wrap, wrap, wrap. <laughs> You're gonna be the coolest looking ghost. I'm so excited, Jimmy's gonna be so scared. <laughs> Now, I hope this wasn't the last of the toilet paper, Ellie. <laughs> Let's just keep wrapping, shall we? <clears throat> now to put on the finishing touches. All right, that's it. Casey the Ghastly Ghost, how are you feeling? <laughs> I feel like I got the scariest costume award on luck. <laughs> now I'm gonna go find Jimmy and spook him. Jimmy, <laughs> must find Jimmy. We're back at the wheel and this time it's Jimmy's turn. Scariest costume award, here I come. Ready, three, two, one, spin. Cool, it landed on a butterfly. Just look at it, how cute. A colorful fluttering butterfly. Oh no, not a butterfly. I can't be a butterfly. Casey will definitely win the costume contest. Oh, I gotta think of something quick. Oh, uh, hey Ellie, look over there. Huh? Respin. Hey, no respins. And it landed on a superhero. I'm a superhero. I mean, I guess technically it isn't the scariest costume, but nah, I can make it work. This costume award is as good as mine. Thanks, Ellie. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, have you seen any toilet paper around? I can't find a single roll. Not now, Coach Rocco. We have bigger fish to fry. I need a hero costume. A hero that also happens to be scary. What do you got? Uh, well, I have your Super Jimmy costume right where you left it. Now you need to put things away after you're done and you'll be able to find them. Awesome! Super Jimmy saves the day again. <laughs> But wait a second, where's my mask? Oh no, my costume isn't complete without my mask. Oh, well, Casey's using your mask now. But look, we have a ton of Halloween masks left over here. I'm sure one of them will work. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, Casey. All right, but one of those masks better be scary. Remember, I need to win the scariest costume award. Huh, well, the problem is, Coach, that this contest is about the scariest costume, not the furriest. Come on, Jimmy, that mask is perfect. Now give me your best spooky Super Jimmy roar. <sighs> I'm Super Jimmy, the scary hero. Ooh, I'm scared already. Now say it again like you mean it. Huh, really? Okay, I'm Super Jimmy, the scary spooky hero. Ah, ah, ah and I'm here to save and scare the day. You know what, Coach? I think you might be right. I can make this work. Let's go scare somebody. I really need a hobby. Last but definitely not least, it's my turn to pick out a costume. I'm so ready for this. Three, two, one, spin! Ooh, it landed on a witch! Awesome! That costume is super spooky. In fact, I think I already have some costume pieces in my bedroom. Let's go. 
All right, Sparkle Squad, the three main ingredients to a excellent witch's costume is the cape, the broom, and of course, the witch's hat. And luckily, I have a cape right over here. I was saving it just for this occasion. Look at how cool that looks, super spooky. And I think that Coach Rocco left a broom here last time he was tidying. Yep, just as I expected. <laughs> Not quite as witchy as I want it, but this'll definitely do. And finally, the witch's hat. Now I'm thinking that I'm gonna make it this time round with my art supplies. <sighs> You'll need some paper. It can be any color, but I chose black. Something sticky like tape or glue and something to cut with. Be careful. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to make something that looks like a triangle or a cone. Now usually I pick a cone because it's super easy to roll up. You make one end small and the other end super wide, just like this. Perfect cone, and then cut along the bottom to make it straight. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna cut out a circle, a really big circle, to be the brim of the hat. Hmm, I think I'm gonna cut it out of this. Ta-da, look at me, I'm all done. My witch's costume is complete. <laughs> Coach Rocco, come over, take a look. Whoa, Ellie the Wicked Witch of Sparkleville. And I like this broom, nice touch. Are you ready to judge some costumes? Yep, send them in. All right, send in the first costume. It's Jimmy the Spooky Superhero. <gasps> it's me, Super Spooky Jimmy, and I'm here to save and scare the day. I bet you must be really scared now. Oh, Jimmy, you're the cutest superhero I've ever seen. Look at that cute little puppy mask. <laughs> oh, no, she thinks I'm cute. Oh, I told you that this was too cute to work. Well, she thinks you're cute in a very nervous way. She's too scared to tell you the truth. <laughs> All right, you ready to judge the second costume? Uh-huh. I introduce Casey the Ghastly Ghost. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost. Casey, you're really getting good at floating around like a ghost. Spooky <laughs> and silly, I like it. Oh, thanks. Hey, that means I'm way scarier than Jimmy's costume. Oh, but I'm just not as cute, so cute. Hey, <laughs> wait a second, is that my mask? How did you get that? I borrowed it. Oh, I should have gotten the frog mask instead. <laughs> oh, uh, Coach Rocco, don't worry. Once we're done, I'm gonna roll all the toilet paper back up. <laughs> oh, thanks a bunch, because I looked everywhere. We're completely out. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, now it's your turn. Who do you think won this competition? Huh? Is it me, Ellie Sparkles the Witch? Ooh. <laughs> or is it Casey the Spooky Ghost? Ooh. Or is it Jimmy the Furry Superhero? Oh, me, 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 pick me. Oh, my costume was supposed to be way scarier, but Casey took my mask and oh, I'm oh, going for five years in a row. Come Jimmy. on, He's come on. Got on. Yeah. I'm making a Come on, It's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, you're never going to believe what I'm working on in there, Ellie. Trust me, it'll be well worth the wait. Well, you better hurry up because if Coach Rocco sees our tent, he's not going to be too happy. Ah, Coach Rocco! Ellie Sparkles, what is the meaning of all of this? It better not be an indoor campsite. Um, well, kind of. You see, it's pouring rain outside, so Jimmy and I decided we're going to take our two tents and go camping indoors. But we're going to put everything back. I promise. Well, I see one tent, but where's the other one? Voila! My work is complete. And now may I present to you the most magnificent feat of modern architecture ever known to man. I give you... Da -da 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 -da, the castle! Jimmy's castle comes fully functional with four watchtowers, count them, one, two, three, four, a fully functional drawbridge, like so, and even a super special security system to keep out unwanted intruders. <laughs> and don't let me forget the piece de resistance. <laughs> what do you think? Jimmy, is that the box we keep the gym equipment in? That's a good box, Jimmy. And yeah, Jimmy, I thought we were gonna build our tents. 
You know, this castle looks like it might fall over in 10 minutes. What are you talking about? This baby is significantly structured to be impossible to knock over. I think you just might be a little jealous. Oh, hey, I'm not jealous, Jimmy. Ooh, I'm just I saying, I know you're not I'm just saying that a castle beats a trend any day. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Look at those two. Indoor camping. I told them they could play in their little tents as long as they don't step foot outside of that room. Because <laughs> as soon as they do, it's chore time for everyone. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you there? You called? Listen, I was just thinking this indoor camping thing isn't going to work out if we're arguing all day. So, rule number one for today is no arguing. You good with that? Hmm, yeah. I guess I can agree to a truce. But do you have any ideas about something fun we could do? I'm getting a little cramped in here. Oh, do I ever. Check this out. You brought your roller skates? Uh-huh. There's so much space to skate around here. Awesome. What about you? Oh, I've got something even better. Just wait. OK. May I present to you Basketball! Wait, a basketball hoop? <laughs> Coach Rocco is definitely gonna love that. He sure will. <laughs> oh, a basketball hoop in the house? Jimmy! All right, looks like it's all done. Why don't you give it a test shot, Jimmy? I thought you'd never ask. Time for the Jimmy spin a Rooney! <laughs> Pass it over here! Give me a big thumbs up if you want to see the Emmy Skating spin a rooney Don't worry, I'll go get it. Is Coach Rocco anywhere to be found? Nope, nowhere in sight. Looking for something? Coach Rocco, my ball! Well, technically it's my ball. It crossed over to my side, so it's mine now. <laughs> oh, but Coach Rocco, you know that's my favorite ball. Well, you could come over and get it. Ball. Go ahead. No, come and Jimmy, get no! it. No! Don't! It's a trick! Coach Rocco wants you to cross the line because then it'll be chore time. Let's go. Farewell, sweet basketball. That's what you get for playing basketball in the house. Ellie, Ellie, are you awake in there? Yeah, Jimmy, what's up? Do you have any food? I'm starving. Um, I think I have some popcorn left. <gasps> oh boy, popcorn, my favorite. Come to Papa. One piece. <gasps> Ellie, don't you have anything else? Nope, I think that's all I have. What's the matter, Jimmy? Your big old castle don't have a fridge inside? Oh, very funny, Ellie, but this is serious. It was a food emergency. I have nothing left to eat, and we can't get to the kitchen because Coach Rocco's on guard. What are we gonna do? Think of something, Ellie. You're good at thinking. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I guess the only thing we can do is... Sneak to the kitchen? Brilliant. Brilliant, that's it. We'll sneak past Coach Rocco very quietly, and when he least suspects it, we'll stock up on food. You lead the way. Okay, we gotta be super quiet. Is he asleep? Oh wait, hold on one second. Okay, don't go overboard with the snacks. Huh? What? 
was that? <laughs> oh, what a shock. It came from you, Jimmy. All right, what did you spill this time? Well, whatever it was, it sounded very loud, so I'm sure it made a big mess. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, nothing? <laughs> How convenient. Well, you're gonna clean it up, mister. I'll go get you a broom. Stay right here. Here. Take this broom and sweep it up. What? You don't want to take this broom, Jimmy? Well, you're lucky to even get a broom. In my day, we didn't have brooms. We had to use our toothbrushes to brush everything up, and we only had one a household. Hello there, how's it going? Ah, oh, Kutrako, uh, good to see ya. Excuse me a moment. Ellie, code red, code red, Kutrako alert! Oh, hi Kutrako! Oh, this is about the food, uh, we can explain. Right, Jimmy? Oh, uh, yeah, about that food at the same time. Don't I worry ate it. about the food. I come in peace. <laughs> Actually, I brought a peace offering, your uh, basketball here. <gasps> Mr. Basketball, oh, I miss you. I promise I'll never let Ellie do a spin rooney again. Coach, that's very nice of you, but uh, what's the catch here? You gave Jimmy back his basketball, but you must want something in return. Well, yes, I, I was thinking of, can I please join your campsite? I mean, you two are just having so much fun and I love camping and it's raining outside. So what about shore time then? Of, of course, Coach, you can join us. There's plenty of room. Oh, thank you, you won't regret it. <laughs> so does this mean shore time is over? <laughs> so, you ready for another camper, Jimmy? Oh yeah. And I brought my duster in case we run into any dust bunnies out here. <laughs> dust bunnies? Look at your busty, dusty castle. It's, it's, a good it's dusty. pretty dusty. It's supposed to be <laughs> dusty. It's old and creepy and cool. Just because we're camping doesn't mean we can't be cleaning. <laughs> and look, I can play Roblox with you guys on my flip phone. Oh, oh. I don't know about that, I Coach. That. I'm winning. I'm That's winning. a tiny <laughs> screen. No, that means I'm winning. That's a snake that game. Oh, no, wait. I think I just called my mom. Oh, okay. All right. Hang that up. Hang, hang that up. Hang that up. <laughs> oh, now you asked for it. Oh, you just had to get my fort all wet, didn't you? Well, you've asked for it now. Here comes a special delivery. Ah. Ha ha. Hey, you got my sneakers wet. <laughs> got another one coming for you. No! <laughs> Looks like it's time to bring out the ultimate weapon. Surprise! Master Rooney! Hey, Squad, Squad, am I glad to see you. You won't believe how I got here. So you know when you have one of those water fights and they kind of get a little bit out of hand? Well, it all started when... Ooh. Thanks for helping me with all the recycling, Ellie. Of course, Coach Rocco. Me and Jimmy learned about how important recycling is in science class. Right, Jimmy? Ah, uh, you guys, I'm being attacked by a giant cube. Ah, uh, help, I'm being eaten by cardboard monsters. <laughs> Jimmy, would you stop goofing around? We need to get this recycling done. Yeah, the sooner we can get this recycling done, the sooner we can get back to video games. Uh, more video games? Don't you guys want to do something outside? Look at all this cardboard. Why don't you make cardboard forts. 
Ooh, like a box fort challenge. Yeah, that could be fun. I think I'll make King Jimmy's Mega Castle, the one box fort to rule them all. Good idea. Let's make this a competition. And whoever makes the best cardboard box fort may win a prize. A box fort challenge? Between me and Jimmy? Oh, I think I know how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, if you wanna see what kind of box forts me and Jimmy make, give me a big thumbs up. All right, Jimmy, you're going down. Oh yeah, in your dreams, that prize is as good as mine. <laughs> All right, Ellie, I have the supplies you requested. Pink and yellow paint, a glue stick, and construction paper. Now, how are you gonna use all of this? Oh, well, I was gonna use the pink and yellow paint for the walls of my box fort, and then I was gonna use the construction paper to make decorative flowers to put all over the outside. Ooh, the decorative and creative approach. I like it. Well, I'm gonna see how Jimmy's doing. Jimmy's box fort? <laughs> I wonder what that looks like, too. He probably hasn't even started it. Too busy doing cannonballs in the pool. I think that Ellie here has got this challenge victory locked up. Here you go, Jimmy, just as you requested. Cookies and a basketball. Not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll see what happens. Oh, perfect. Now these cookies are chocolate chip, correct? That's uh, very important. Yes, just as you requested. Not sure how you're gonna use those to build, but... Well, technically, the basketball is for spinner -roonies. And the cookies, well, they're for eating. So I guess they're not technically involved in the building process. <laughs> just as I thought, Jimmy, you're goofing around again. Now I just saw Ellie and she's taking this challenge very seriously. Keep this up and she's gonna win yet again. <laughs> oh no, I can't let Ellie win another challenge, especially not a box fort challenge. I'm gonna need someone to help me build my fort. Oh, but who should I ask? I know, I'll ask Ellie. She helps everyone with everything. And then I'll tell her that I'll split the prize with her. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you are one smart cookie. Hey, these are chocolate chunk, not chocolate chip. Gosh, so pretty, okay. Yep, doors working just fine. Fire nails, that's what it is. Oh yeah. Oh, Ellie Sparkles, fancy that running into you here. What a coinky dink. <laughs> Jimmy, I just saw you a few minutes ago. So, how's your box fort coming along? Oh, well, it's uh, coming along fine and dandy. Yep, it certainly is uh, dandy. Okay, Jimmy, you just used the word dandy twice, and that's a little sus, even for you. What happened? Well, I was thinking about the competition. Maybe we don't need to compete, you know? Isn't there enough competition in this world? Don't you think it would be better if we teamed up and worked together on our fort, and that way we could split the prize 50-50? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, so predictable. You haven't even started your box fort yet, have you? Oh, well, it's not my fault. I was all ready to start, but then Coach Rocco came in with cookies and my basketball, and he really distracted me. You know, I should just tell you to forget about help from me, but... For once, I think it would actually be fun to win a challenge together. So, yes, I will help you with your box fort, but only if you promise to be a good teammate. I promise, I promise. Trust me, Ellie, you are not gonna regret this. Let's go. Will I? All right, almost done on my end, Jimmy. How about your half? Be with you in just a sec. About to hit the new world record for this game. And high score! Jimmy Rooney wins again! Whoa, look at my box fort. It's beautiful. I'm sure to win the prize now. You? You mean we, right? Because we're splitting the prize 50-50? Oh, well, about that. 
When I said 50-50, I think what I really meant was 70-30. 70, 70 Jimmy, 30 Ellie. Well, how is that fair when I made this whole thing almost entirely by myself? Hey, I helped. Kinda, sorta. Okay, it was mostly you, but a deal's a deal. And also, this is Jimmy's castle, remember? See, King Jimmy, flags don't lie. Oh yeah? Well, I built this box fort all by myself and I can take it down just as easily. Whoa, 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 let's not do anything rash here. <laughs> Say, uh, maybe we go 60-40? It's too late for that now, Jimmy. <laughs> hey, that crosses a line, you know. Taking down the Jimmy flag, that's going way too far. That does it. I officially challenge you, Ellie Sparkles, and your fort to a water balloon fight. A water balloon fight? I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. I'll see you by the pool, Jimmy. <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay, Flag? Oh, would you look at these? Now this is creativity. I like it. Ambush. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got caught in the crossfire. Well, there's an explanation for this. It was all Ellie's fault. What are you talking about, Jimmy? You were holding a gun, too. Oh, I can't leave you two alone for two minutes without you fighting over something. Now, why don't you head inside and have a snack, and I'll see what you made here. Aww. Run along. All right. Oh, the nerve. Would you look at that? Oh, I see. Yep, the paper flowers pool. Very creative. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Now that's nifty. <laughs> Let's test the coziness. Ooh. Nice and roomy. You'll never know if I take a quick nap now. They're having a snack, enjoying themselves. I'll just uh, catch a few Z's. <laughs> Coach Rocco, where is he? It's been two hours already. Huh, I don't know where he could be. Hey Ellie, I've been thinking about that fight we had earlier and I just wanted to say that, I'm sorry, I probably should have helped you out more while you were building my fort. Aw, well, it's okay, Jimmy. I probably shouldn't have thrown that many water balloons at your fort anyway. Well, since the forts are so cool, what do you say that we start playing in them again? But this time, no water battles. That sounds like a good deal to me. Do you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from... <gasps> uh, Coach Rocco! What do you say we just get a blanket for him inside? Oh, sure. Hey, want to bring this inside too and we can play video games in it? Oh, that sounds so much fun! Where am I? Ellie? Jimmy? Have I fallen into another dimension? Maybe I'm king of the rabbits here. I can finally eat all those turnips I've been dreaming about. And have tea with tiny little mice. Hello, yes, I'll have another crumpet. What are crumpets? Ellie, help! What are crumpets? Announcement, and I get to break the news to Casey and Jimmy. Oh, <laughs> you guys ready for this? Did it, did it, did it, Late breaking news! The school is having a pizza day, karaoke day, school picture day tomorrow! Oh, Ellie! Don't you remember last year? My picture was totally awful. It was the worst day of my life. Look. Oh, it's not that bad. No, no, that's pretty bad. Did you think it was Halloween? Oh. Excuse me, Jimmy, like your picture's any better? <laughs> Jimmy, why weren't you looking at the camera? What were you doing? The photographer had me in a swivel chair, and then he took a picture of me while I was mid-swivel. What was I supposed to do, not swivel in the swivel chair? <laughs> well, I remember my picture not being too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the year I had a toothache. That really, really was terrible. It looks like this year we'll have all to gain from the pictures. You know what? This year we're gonna have the best pictures ever and really show people who we are. <laughs> 
looking at the old yearbook I see. Oh, look, a picture of good old Coach Rocco, year one. Wait a second, that's Coach Rocco? Yeah, there is no way that that is the same person. No, that's me. I've been using the same picture since I started here. That's Coach Rocco on the first day. Okay, I see. It looks like everybody's going to have to get new pictures tomorrow, including you, Coach Rocco. Boys and girls, give me a big thumbs up if you want to see our cool new school pictures tomorrow. Oh, who's this Casey I see? She is effortlessly cool. Okay, top half, perfect. Now time for the most important part, the shirt. Okay, option number one. Ugh, too basic. Bye. Oh, option number two. Oh man, my cool kid shirt. I totally forgot about this. That is effortlessly cool. Now time to ask the one fashionista I know, Miss Ellie Sparkles. Ugh. Hey Casey, hey Sparkles. I'm going for an effortlessly cool look. Pretty cool, but not trying too hard to be cool, right? So how about this? <laughs> Your shirt literally says cool kid on it. I think you're thinking about this way too much. Oh, I'm overthinking things again as usual. Oh, Ellie, you have to help me. I can't have another terrible school picture. What do I do? Um, well, you know, I would just go for something simple and comfortable. Something that you feel really confident in. Oh, well, I got this blue shirt. I... Oh, Ellie, my Stinky in the Skunk shirt, my favorite band. This is perfect. What do you think? I love it. Whatever makes you feel best. Awesome. Thanks, Ellie. You're the best. Hey, how's your outfit search coming? You know what? I'm not even worried about what to wear for picture day. What happened last year was just, I don't know, a fluke. A case of being unlucky. I mean, according to my calculations, the odds of me getting a toothache two school picture days in a row are like about one in a 999,000. That's just about one in a million, which is impossible. Impossible, right? Totally impossible. <laughs> huh? Casey? My tooth? Uh-oh. Poor Ellie. She must be totally overcomplicating this whole school picture day thing. Oh, I'm Ellie. What should I wear for picture day? Pink and yellow? Or yellow and pink? Ah! <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I got this totally under control. I've taken steps to ensure that this is a perfect picture day. Step one. I'm bringing my own chair, and one that does not swivel, thus eliminating any risk of swiveling. Ah. Step two, picking the perfect outfit. And done. And finally, step three, making the perfect pose. I've got so many options. Check them out. Option one, the dude a Rooney. Option two, the strongest kid in school. Option three, the spookiest costume award, four years in a row. And option four, the much better than Casey pose. So the kids don't think I look the same. They say I've lost a little bit of muscle. Nothing that a little bit of exercise couldn't fix. Oh, come on, Coach Rocco, you can do this. Yes, yes. Oh, That's good. I feel the muscles coming back. There we go. Gosh, I hate picture day. Oh, so many options, and they're all so good. What should I choose? Oh, should I go with Dude Rooney or much better than Casey? Oh, Dude Rooney better than Casey. Dude Rooney better than Casey. Oh, I can't choose. All right, Casey, you first have a seat. And when I say cheese, give a big Casey smile, all right? Oh, uh, but Coach, could you just make sure that the entire Stinky and the Skunk shirt is in the picture? It's really important that we see the entire shirt. Okay, uh, Stinky and the Skunks, I see it, all right. One, two, three, and cheese! cheese. All right, you're done. Uh, who's up next, uh, Ellie? Whoa, 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 wait, I just get one picture? But, but how do I know if it came out okay? Yeah, I'll give it to you on the bus after school, all right? All right, Ellie? 
Well, I knew you nailed it on the first try. I mean, that shit is just perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Ellie. You know, you really helped me avoid another picture day nightmare by helping me out. Oh, and I'm glad that your toots all better. Oh, yeah. I'm super glad we won't have a repeat of last year. Anyway, wish me luck. Ah, uh, you got this, Sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the bus after school. Bye. Oh, Coach, before we do anything, do you mind if I take a sip of water? You know, my mouth is a little bit dry. Oh, sure. Uh, take your time and just say cheese when you're ready, all right? Oh, no. My tooth. My tooth. Oh, please, no. Cheese, go. Okay, here we go. No, Three, no, cheese, two, go. one, cheese. Please, no. Jimmy? Anybody Jimmy's not Jimmy here yet, so maybe we can just have one more picture. I'm oh, here. Oh, I'm God. here. Made it. Just in time. Oh, all right, just take a seat, Jimmy. Uh, well, if it's okay with you, I actually brought my own seat this year. Uh, all right, good to go. So, Coach, which pose do you think I should do? Should I do the dude a uh, Or should I do the better than Casey pose? And you're done. All right, uh, that's it for school pictures today. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Already? Which pose did you pick? Oh, you went with the better than Casey pose, didn't you? You're a man of taste, Coach Rocco. Wait, Coach, we're not done yet. Remember the deal. You gotta take your photo, too. All right, all right. A deal's a deal. I am a teacher of my word. So let me get into my coach's uniform here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Coach, what exactly are you wearing? Uh, I always wear this. This is my uh, coach's uniform. You know that, silly. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I've been working out, you see. Like, ah, out. Oh, okay, hurry up, Ellie, hurry up. Take the picture, take the picture. Three, two, one. Jeez, jeez, oh, yes. All right, everyone. That's it, uh, you'll get your pictures on the bus after school, all right? <laughs> Time, <sighs> okay, I need an aspirin. Good news, everybody! I got your school photos right here. <gasps> Let me see. Let me see. Come on, Ellie. 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 Glitter volcano. Slime, cake, glitter, volcano. Those are like four of my favorite things. Exactly. We are bound to get an A plus on this. Oh, and Jimmy already has all the supplies in his backpack. Oh, isn't that right, Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy. Earth to Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, wake up. Coach Rocco, I think we're gonna need your help. He's stuck in La La Land again. Oh, yep, looks like Mr. Sleepyhead's nodded off. All right, you know the drill, cover your ears. Mr. Sleepyhead, time to wake up, we're here. Ah, you spooky monsters, you stay away from Jimmy Jr. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Mr. Sleepyhead was in the middle of a dream. Sorry to interrupt all the fun, but we're here, time to get off the bus. So, exactly who is this Jimmy Jr. you're dreaming about? <laughs> LOL, Casey, very funny, but I don't have time for this. I have big after-school plans. I'm gonna hit the basketball court, do some spinneroonies. You two are welcome to join. Not before we finish our science project, Jimmy. Oh no, not the science project. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, if you wanna see us make this slime cake glitter volcano, give me a big thumbs up. Oh, and by the way, Casey, Jimmy Jr. is his basketball. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Casa Ellie. Oh my goodness, Ellie, your room is perfect for indoor soccer. Yeah, soccer, sounds good. Anything but science. Oh, it's not gonna be that bad. This project is gonna be over in a breeze. Let me just check out this checklist. So, have we got pens and paper? Uh, check. 
Perfect. Have we got a calculator? Check. Project members? Check, check. Uh, kinda. Jimmy, wake up! And experiment supplies. Slime, paint, and glitter. <laughs> Jimmy, hey, supplies! That's you! Uh, you leave Jimmy Jr. alone, you monsters! He's just a baby! So, Jimmy, have you got the experiment supplies that you said you were gonna get? Oh, yeah, yeah, those. Not to worry, I got them right here in my book bag. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, one small hiccup. I think I left my book bag on the old bus rooney Jimmy, you had one job! It's okay. I'm gonna go on the bus and get the book bag. You two can stay here and keep arguing. I'm gonna go on my own little adventure. Ha <laughs> ha! Score! Oh, all right. School bus is still here. Check one complete. Oh, sweet! A soccer ball! Oh, man. Ellie and Jimmy are gonna be so happy they have a friend like me. They're gonna be like, oh, Casey, you're so smart and awesome and good at getting backpacks off of buses and solving problems. Casey, Casey, Come on. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Coach Rocco. Coach Rocco, can you let me in? I gotta get something. <sighs> Thanks, Coach. I... Wait, Coach? Coach Rocco? Oh, well, I don't see him anywhere. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to look by myself. Nothing to worry about. I got my trusty soccer ball here. Whew, I'm gonna be just fine. <clears throat> got this. <gasps> what was that? Oh, <laughs> you know what? It was the wind. Or the birds. <laughs> oh! Or the bus engine, duh. Oh wait, the bus isn't even running. <gasps> oh no, it's a monster! Ellie, help! Ah, monster! I'm just saying, Super Spinneroonies is the perfect science experiment. Yeah, but we did that last year, remember? Oh well, yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It was broke, we got an F. Hmm. <gasps> Guys, monster! Bus! Big! Wow! Okay, Casey, slow down, slow down. Take a deep breath. What happened? Okay, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, that there is a big monster on that bus right now. Monster on the bus? What did it look like? Was it green? I don't really know, but it just made this big, loud sound that could have only been a monster. It kind of went like this. So oh, I can't even do it without getting scared! Ah, uh, okay. So what you're dealing with is your classic bus monster Rooney. They're commonly sighted around these parts, but they're really nothing to worry about as long as you take the proper precautions. Okay, don't listen to him, all right? It's just probably something else entirely. I don't think it's a monster at all. I know for a fact it's a monster, and I can prove it. I'll go out there right now and get our bag back. No, 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 Jimmy, don't do it! Don't worry, Casey. Believe me, I've been around the block a few times. I know how to handle these monsters. And I'm off to save the day. Oh, well, this will be very interesting. You want to go get a pair of binoculars? Sure. Mm -hmm. Monster schmonster. I just thought of an amazing plan. All I have to do is pretend that there's an actual monster on the bus. That way, I can tell Ellie and Casey that the monster ate my backpack. And voila, no more science project for Jimmy Rooney. Ha <laughs> ha. Jimmy, sometimes I forget what a genius you are. All right, time to act scared. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so sc 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 scared. Oh, Ellie, Casey, wish me luck on my dangerous journey. I hope I make it back alive. <laughs> what was that? You know, for a fake monster, that sure sounded an awful lot like a real monster. <laughs> Definitely a real monster. I'm out of here. <laughs> Monster, bus, it's real, scary, 
Jimmy, did you really see a monster on the bus? Yeah, I saw a monster on the bus, and it was huge. Definitely big enough to eat both me and Jimmy Jr. Oh, I should never have doubted you two. Oh, we're done for. See, I told you there was a monster out there. But guys, we really need the science project materials. Are you nuts? Unless your project is who can get eaten the fastest, then we are done with projects today. I guess I'm just gonna have to go see this for myself. Wait, what? Yep. And if there is a monster, I'm sure it'll be nice enough to let us take what we need and leave in peace. But there's no such thing as monsters anyway, you guys. I'll prove it to you. Oh, Ellie. Oh. <laughs> Ellie, no. Don't do it. All right, Sparkles, you got this. Just put on your bright and sparkly Sparkles charm. Put on a cheery smile and say, hello, Mr. Monster, or Miss Monster. How do you do today? Oh, I love what you're wearing. It's so cute. Oh, and your monster teeth are so shiny. What toothpaste do you use? Oh, by the way, my friend Jimmy <laughs> might have left an eensy teensy little backpack in the back of the school bus, and we were hoping that we could get it back. So if you could please give it to us, and we would thank you so very much. Oh, you guys, what are you doing here? We came to give you oh, our support. What? I thought we were telling her to stop. Jimmy! Oh, uh. All right, well, obviously you can't go on the bus alone, so we figured that maybe you'd need some of that uh, Jimmy and Casey magic, and that together we could get that backpack back, pack, back, pack, back, get the stuff back. Guys, that is so sweet and super surprising of you. <laughs> awesome, with the three of us, the monster can't possibly resist our charms. Let's go in together. what to do about this. Wake up, sleepyhead! I'm awake, I'm awake, I'll drive you to school. <laughs> Coach Rocco, you were asleep. Oh, well, after substituting math and driving the bus and teaching Jim and lunch, Coach Rocco gets a little uh, tired, so I needed my nappy time. We should have known. There's no monster in the world that could make a sound as big and loud as Coach Rocco snoring. You know, I'm gonna start calling you Coach Sleepyhead from now on, if that's all right with you. Coach Sleepyhead? No way. If I was to change my name, I would change my name to Bartholomew Wiggins. Now that's a respectable name. Awesome! What's up, Sparkle Squad? I just got finished making my famous pigs in a blanket. Coach Rocco is having a family reunion dinner today. Casey and Jimmy really wanted to be here, but Coach sent them off to the movies instead. I think he got nervous that they were going to ruin the party or something. <laughs> Ellie, what are you doing in there? Are you cooking something? Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to meet Coach Rocco's family, give me a big thumbs up. I'm just making a surprise appetizer. <laughs> Thank you all for coming over. Dinner will be served shortly. Oh, Rocky, you worked too hard. Now you should have just ordered a pizza. It's much easier. Oh, Mother, pizza again? We just had pizza for breakfast. Raquel, don't argue with your mother. If she wants pizza, we'll have pizza. Rocky, go get the phone book, order three pizzas. Your mother's hungry. Oh, gosh, I told you we're not having pizza. How many times do I have to tell you? Here we go. Piping hot pigs in a blanket. Enjoy. Oh, what a surprise, Ellie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, everyone, this is my number one student, Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's really nice to meet you, finally. Oh, hello, Ellie Sparkles. It's so great to meet you. Thank you so much for putting our little Rocky on your channel on YouTube. We are so proud of him. I just love watching Rocky fall into the pool in your videos. I watch those over and over again on slow motion. I'm Raquel, Rocky's favorite sister, by the way. You're my only sister, and this is my father. Everyone calls him Big Rock. Everybody calls him Little Rock. How about you, Kelly? You call him Little Rock in gym class? 
dad, it's Ellie, not Kelly. And I told you, nobody calls me Little Rock anymore. <laughs> they call me Coach Rocco. I'm their teacher. <laughs> Didn't I ask you not to embarrass me? <sighs> Could this night get any worse? Hey, Coach Rocco. Hi, everyone. Uh, Jimmy, Casey, what are you doing here? Didn't I give you money to go to the movie theater? Oh, yeah, about that. We never made it past the concession stand. We ran out of money for movie tickets once Casey bought her jumbo candy. Uh, well, what about your two bags of popcorn? Well, you gotta have popcorn at the movies. It's tradition. Besides, it's way better than candy. I concur. A movie without popcorn is like pancakes without syrup. I like your style, Jimmy. <laughs> she gets it. Uh, well, 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 everybody knows that candy is way better than popcorn. Just like how soccer is way better than basketball. <laughs> yeah, in your dreams. You see what I gotta deal with here? <laughs> so, Casey, you like soccer, huh? I don't want to brag, but I was a bit of a soccer star when I was your age. What? No way! That's so cool! Hey, I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. <laughs> hey, do you think that you could show me some soccer moves outside? Please, please, please! Oh, what a great idea! Let's get out of here and get on that field. Rocky, you get some food in you. You're getting a little skinny. And don't do the dishes. I'll do them when I get back. Uh, Mama, no, where are you going? Uh, the doctor said no more soccer. Oh, don't be such a nag. She's fine. Hey, Jim, you got any more of that popcorn around? I love it. It's like my guilty treat. Oh, you bet. I got popcorn stored all over the house. Come with me and I'll show you my secret stash. Oh, marvelous. And Ellie, if Rocky happens to fall into the pool again, make sure you get that on camera. I love watching that. <laughs> Classic. Oh, and Kelly, I love these pigs in a blanket. But a big guy like me needs something a little more. You got a little um, raw egg or spinach peanut butter? Mm. You're just in luck. I want to try one of my world famous protein smoothies. They're really good. Come on, Big Rock. Now you're talking. I'll see you later, Little Rock. <laughs> Great game, Casey. <laughs> now for some post game stretches. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, stretch those. Yes. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my. Woo. Feels good to be out on the field again. <laughs> Mama, you are so great. Oh, hey, check out this new move I've been working on. Ready for this? Okay. <clears throat> um. Well, I'm still working on it. Oh, I love it. But if I were you, I would do something a little different. A little. Flashy, look at this. <laughs> you are so great. <laughs> Suck a high five. <laughs> hey, Casey, you keeping an eye on Mama? She's not doing anything too rowdy, is she? Uh, oh, Rocky, everything's okay. <laughs> Relax. So oh, that Rocky could be such a warrior. What do you say we go inside and have some of that candy? Oh, sounds great to me. <laughs> Here's your popcorn, Raquel. Mmm, pop to perfection, if I do say so myself. Mmm, that is scrumptious, Jimmy. But it is missing one thing. Toppings. Oh, toppings. Wow, you really know how to party, Raquel. I'll go check the fridge. Oh, no need. I carry all my toppings right here in my purse, and I've got everything you can think of. I've got spicy, I've got sweet, I've got savory, anything you can think of. Oh, it's a dream come true. I like to start out with some spicy hot sauce Whoa. and some chocolate syrup and little mm. strawberry syrup. Hey, you two, you better not be making a mess in there. And Raquel, promise me you won't say any embarrassing stories about me to Jimmy. Mama, was that you? Oh, typical little Rocky. I mean, what a grouch of Rolla. I need to tell you about the time when we were kids. He was doing jumping jacks and he split his pants. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's too good. The same thing happened in gym class last week. 
That doesn't surprise me. Little Rocky the Pants Player is what we used to call him. <laughs> I have to show you something. I made the compilations of all the times Rocky fell into the pool on the YouTube show. Look, oh. isn't it a gas? Oh, I gotta see this. <laughs> <laughs> 32, 33, 34. Oh, hey, Big Rock. Got your ice cold protein shake here. Here, let me help. 35. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> here you go. Oh, wow, you so sure much. are strong. I mean, I guess it's pretty important to keep exercising as you get older. Oh, well, you're pretty strong yourself. Now, what do you do for fun around here when you're not moving the furniture? Hmm. Well, I like to paint. Hmm. I like to read. Oh, and between you and me, I still like to play with one of my dolls. But don't tell Jimmy. Oh, well, let me tell you something. I might be of a certain age, but I still play with my doll. Big Rock has a doll? No way. Don't believe me? Here. Meet Squeaky the Squirrel. <laughs> okay, family, car's ready. Time to go. Now, Casey, I want you to know that you can come over any time for a soccer lesson. Okay. And I hope my little rock knows what a special talent you are. Thanks, Mama. You're the best. I'm gonna miss you so much. Now you take care. Bye. She is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you see how big that splash was? I think he made us split his pants right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Raquel. I can't believe that Coach Rocco has a sister as cool as you. Thanks for showing me the funniest video of all time. Well, if you ever want to see a Rocco fail compilations video, you look me up, okay? <laughs> Ta-ta. Ta-ta, Raquel. Move over, Ma. Gee. So, Kelly, what do you think? You think we can lift that car? I don't know about this car, Big Rock, but it's been really fun exercising with you. Oh, and also playing dolls with you, too. Hey, remember, Kelly, doesn't matter how tough you are, you can always play with your dog. <laughs> okay, Big Rock. Oh, also, by the way, just so you know, my name's not actually Kelly. It's Ellie Sparkles. Oh, Ellie Sparkles. Now that's a name I'll always remember. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you around. Oh, Little Rock's driving. I'll sit in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Safe travels. Adios. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. We'll miss you. Come back anytime, okay? They were so awesome. They were. I really like them. <gasps> me too. Hey, you guys want to see a video that Raquel showed me? <laughs> what is it? It's a compilation of all of Coach Rocco's pool balls. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that oh, one. Oh, oh, so yeah. good. <laughs> Sparkle Squad, it's me, Ellie Sparkles, with your top five Christmas decorations. Coming in at number five is the Christmas stocking. Now these are the perfect little places for Santa to put extra little treats on Christmas Day. <gasps> that must be Jimmy and Coach Rocco now with the Christmas tree, the centerpiece of all the Christmas decorations. It's gonna be the greatest Christmas ever! Yeah! Hey guys! Glad you're back! I've already started decorating without you! Just waiting on the tree! The Christmas tree? Oh boy. Tell her, Coach. Nothing happened to the tree, did it? No, no, no. There was no problem with the tree. Everything was going according to plan. And, uh, well, Jimmy here wanted to stop for some eggnog. And, well, what? Why don't you tell her that you had to do some last-minute Christmas shopping at the cleaning supply store? What kind of Christmas present is this, anyway? That's the real reason we didn't get the tree in time. You only had one job, to pick up the tree while I was busy in the kitchen making cookies for Santa. Uh-oh. Um... These cookies were for Santa? Oh, Casey, not you too. I have been busy all day trying to make this the best Christmas ever, but you didn't pick up the tree, and you ate the cookies that I baked. You know what? That's it. 
I'm canceling Christmas. I need to take a break. Wait, Ellie, no. Ellie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Good going, Casey. You made Ellie cancel Christmas. It wasn't my fault. You forgot the so Christmas I'm tree. Gonna you gonna go 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 I feel kind of bad for being a Christmas Scrooge, but I think I just need a break from all this holiday stuff. Ah, uh, bah humbug. Well, maybe a nice long nap will clear my head. I'm not a spooky ghost, I'm a friendly ghost. <laughs> hey, could a spooky ghost do this? Oh. <laughs> oh, guess we're not that spooky after all. But what would a ghost want to do with me? I am here to warn you that you canceling Christmas is the worst idea that you have ever had. Like, seriously, in the his history of ever, it it's awful. So, ugh, I'm gonna show you some old Christmas videos of you and all your friends. Wait, ghosts have tablets? It's not a tablet, it's a dream pod. <laughs> okay, Ellie, let's take a look into Christmas past. You guys, you guys, you gotta come see. It's him, come on, hurry up, it's Santa. <gasps> there. Right in there, I heard something inside the barn. And since it's Christmas morning, you know what that means. It's gotta be Santa. Come on, let's go check it out. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm going in a haunted barn, not even for Christmas presents. It's just not worth it, Ellie, tell him. Yeah, Jimmy, I mean, how do you even know that Santa's in the barn in the first place? Well, because I distinctly heard a ho, ho, ho coming from inside, which means it's gotta be Santa. Come on, don't be such scaredy cats. Oh, I am not a scaredy cat. I'm just being cautious, that's all. What about we all go inside the barn together on the count of three? One, two... <laughs> Okay, that did not sound like a ho 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 to me. Yeah, on second thought, I'm with Casey. That is way too spooky to be Santa. Oh, wait, now who's a scaredy cat now? Whatever happened to, oh, it's definitely Santa in the barn. I'm a ho ho ho. Clearly something's happened. By the way, I'm pretty sure it's And it's obviously not gonna be me since you two are too scared, I'll go into the barn alone. But don't be upset if I get first tips on the presents. <laughs> no, Ellie, don't do it, it's not worth it. <laughs> ah! Hey, you three, trying to spy on Santa Claus? Well, your two ladies already left. What? Wait a second, Coach Rocco, are you saying that that actually was Santa Claus in the barn? Yes, sirree, and I've helped him already deliver those presents. You see, he got the barn mixed up with the house, and so even Santa Claus makes mistakes. But that's no reason why Christmas should be ruined. <gasps> Amazing! So what do you say, you guys? Do you want to stay out here and be scary cats or go inside and open some presents? Presents! presents. Definitely, Definitely presents! presents. <laughs> <laughs> really got me there. I thought that Christmas is going to be ruined, but it turned out to be one of the greatest Christmases ever. What a great memory. <laughs> ah, another ghost! Ha <laughs> ha, worry not, Ellie Sparkles. It is I, your second spirit of the night. Ta-da, the ghost of Christmas presents. Wait a second, isn't it supposed to be the ghost of Christmas present? Like past, future, present? No, 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 no way. It's definitely supposed to be ghost of Christmas presents, plural. You see, I was promised lots of Christmas presents if I took this gig. But check this one out. It's my brand new dream pod. Huh, do all ghosts have one of those? Right you are. Now the first ghost showed you just how much fun Christmas was in the past, but it's my job to show you just how sad Christmas is gonna be this year for your friends, since you decided to cancel it. 
let's take a look. And I warn you, this isn't pretty. Ellie? Ellie? I was just checking to see if she changed her mind about canceling Christmas. <laughs> I knew I should have picked up that tree when I had the chance. Oh, coach, it's my fault. I just had to stop off for eggnog. Oh, why am I so selfish? No, no, it was me. It was me. I just had to eat Santa's Christmas cookies. I didn't mean to. Um, uh, Ellie, look, I'll make more. Um, I'm baking. Look, see, I'm baking. Oh, right, it's you. We're sorry, Ellie. We're sorry. No. Oh no, my best friends. Casey, Jimmy, Coach Rocco. Don't cry, I didn't mean to make you feel guilty. Ahoy! Oh great, another ghost. Yep, but I'm the last one you'll see tonight. I'm the ghost of Christmas future. Let me guess, you're gonna show me a video on your dream pod. Dream pod, what's that? No, I'm gonna show you on my nifty little flip phone. Ooh. I got this baby 20 years ago and it was the best gift I've gotten so far. All right, let's see this video, if I can even see it with the screen so small. Now this is what Christmas will look like since you canceled it. Hey guys, what are you two doing? Chores? Don't you know it's Christmas? Hey, did you just say Christmas? Ellie, we haven't celebrated that day in years, don't you remember? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, since you decided to cancel Christmas all those years ago, Coach Rocco decided to make up an entirely brand new holiday, Cleaning Day. Cleaning Day? Instead of Christmas? No, 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 that cannot be true. <laughs> oh, 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 oh boy, it's Santa Rocco. Tis the season to be cleaning, scrub a dub a dub a dub dub dub. Now it's time to do the dishes, scrub a dub a dub a dub dub dub. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Merry Cleaning Day, my little cleaners! Merry Cleaning Day, Santa Rocco! Now who's ready for their Cleaning Day presents? Oh, me, 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 me! Presents? Now you're talking. This maybe won't be too bad after all. Now, Casey, you are an extra special cleaner this year, so you go first. <laughs> Thanks, Santa Rocco! Oh, boy! Oh! <gasps> Two new sponges! Oh my goodness, I can clean twice as many dishes now. <laughs> Much more than Jimmy. <laughs> oh, my turn, my turn. What you got for me, Santa Rocco? Remember, I've been an extra good cleaner this year. You sure have, Jimmy. Now this is for you. Enjoy. Ah! The number one item on my cleaning day list. A handheld vacuum. Now I can vacuum anything. The living room, the TV room, even the bathroom. Oh boy, what should I vacuum first, Coach Rocco? You name it and I'll vacuum. Wait a second, Jimmy, you don't even like vacuuming. And what kind of gift are two sponges anyway? Now hold on, Jimmy. We still have one very special gift to give for you, Ellie. Enjoy. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, um, clean the car, wash the windows, do the dishes. This is a list of chores? <gasps> oh, you got a list of chores? That's so awesome. Oh, and you get to organize the garage. Lucky, that's so cool. Oh, man, why does Ellie always get the best gifts? Oh, but whatever, I can't be too mad. It's cleaning day after all. <laughs> Tis the season to be cleaning. Scrub a dub a dub a dub dub dub. No, it's time to. Don't want to make it cleaning day. I gotta tell Jimmy, Casey, and Coach Rocco that Christmas is still on. You guys! Christmas is still on! All right, everybody, it's time to open presents. Casey, you first. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what it is. Oh! oh. My very own Stinky in the Skunk shirt! My favorite band! <laughs> Thanks, Santa! 
Jimmy. Oh boy. Wow, a brand new basketball. Thanks, Santa. And last but not least, Ellie. I wonder what Santa got me. Oh, a new plate of cookies. <laughs> Actually, Ellie, um, those are from me. I'm really, really sorry I ate Santa's cookies the other day. Uh, yeah, and, and me and Jimmy are really sorry we forgot the Christmas tree. Yeah, but on the bright side, I think the new tree that we made out of Coach Rocco's duster looks pretty cool. It's all right, everyone. I've discovered this Christmas that it's not about making it perfect. It's about spending it with the people that you love. I tell you what, now that we've opened the gifts, why don't we clean up this mess and, uh, hey, why don't we make a holiday after the day of Christmas? And we called it Cleaning Day. What do you think? Cleaning Day? Somebody pinch me. I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> Just kidding. Merry Christmas, you three. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. It's perfect. Excuse me. No splashing in the pool, please. You two know the pool rules. I'm afraid that that's one strike for both of you. Uh, but Jimmy, we weren't even splashing. What are you talking about? Yeah, Jimmy. And what are you wearing? Coach Rocco's totally gonna bust you for stealing his whistle. Oh, Jimmy finally got his own whistle. <laughs> Ow. It appears that you two insubordinates have not learned that Coach Rocco has made me the assistant lifeguard for the whole summer. That means I'm the one in charge of enforcing the official swimming pool rule book. And you two are in clear violation right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Coach Rocco, made you an assistant lifeguard? <laughs> I don't believe that. Well, yeah, yeah, he did so. And if you don't believe me, why don't you go ask him yourself? Be my guest Rooney. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I am going to get to the bottom of this. Hey, Coach, did you seriously make Jimmy a lifeguard? Good luck. And while you're at it, I'm going to give you one more strike for questioning my authority. One more strike. Jimmy, are you really serious that you're the lifeguard? I mean, you can't even go into the deep end without the arm floaties. And how are you gonna save somebody from drowning? Well, first of all, they are not arm floaties. They are official assistant swimming flotation devices, duh. And secondly, the reason that I gave you a strike is because you were splashing in the pool, which is a clear violation of rule 43A. Splashing in the pool? You mean when I did this? <gasps> Splashing violation! That's another splashing violation! Gosh, I wasn't splashing, I was just putting my toes in the water. Ellie Sparkles, I'm afraid that you now have two strikes against you. And you know what that means. You have to head to the designated timeout tent immediately. Timeout tent? I didn't even know we had a timeout tent. Get moving, get moving, come on. Okay, Lots of work to do. fine, fine, I'm going. Gosh, my ears are starting to hurt. <sighs> Kids these days. <laughs> I could get used to this. Just walk all the way over here to the timeout tent. Me, Ellie Sparkles, getting a timeout? I don't know about that. I love rules, but this is getting a bit too much. And Jimmy gets a little power hungry sometimes. I wonder why Coach Rocco made him a lifeguard. I know for a fact he can't even save a ladybug if it fell in a puddle. <laughs> Jimmy. Swimming in the pool is so cool. All right, flotation device, you're ready for some flotation action. One, two, three. Excuse me, Coach Rocco, what exactly is going on here? Uh, I'm, I'm about to take a refreshing swim. Why else would I have my swim gear on? Coach Rocco, you should know better than anyone that you are in clear violation of pool swimming rule number 42H, which states, for the record, there is no jumping, diving, or cannonballing into the shallow end of the pool. I would hate to give you a pool strike, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad to see you taking your lifeguard duty so seriously. <laughs> You'll be happy to know I was headed over to the deep end. <laughs> Wouldn't want any strikes now. I thought not. That's it, keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> All right, this should be deep enough. And a one, a two, three, Pool violation! What 
now, Jimmy? Why are you blowing that whistle? I'm obviously at the deep end. That's not the issue here, Coach Rocco. The issue here is that it is now 1.01 p.m., and the rule book clearly states that there is no jumping into the deep end between the hours of 1 o'clock p.m. and 1.15 p.m. Uh, listen, Jimmy, I see you. I'm so happy for you that you're taking this lifeguard Don duty thing so seriously, but um, it's just one minute. As long as we don't tell Ellie about it, there's no reason why we can't adjust those numbers just this once now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Coach Rocco, but that's going to be one strike for you. Insubordination of the rules is a clear violation of rule number one. Thou must obey all rules. Hear ye, hear ye. Strike one for Coach Rocco. Now hand me that whistle, Jimmy. Stop blowing that. It's hurting my ears. Oh, interfering with lifeguard duties now, are we? That's strike two for Coach Rocco. Please report to the timeout tent immediately. <laughs> Jimmy, now would you give me that whistle now? Stop blowing it, it hurts my ears. No chance. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh. Man overboard, man overboard. I'll save you, Coach Rocco. I'm in, I'm in the pool. <laughs> I'm in the pool. Hey, Mr. Lifeguard, how's it going over there? Ellie, please remain calm. I'm in the process of a rescue operation. You know, I don't think that he's rescuing. Coach Rocco even looks like he's enjoying himself. Ellie, please remain quiet in the timeout tent. I'm coming, Coach Rocco. Hang in there. At least put a book in here or something. Gosh, I'm so bored. Grab my hand! I'll save you! I'll save I'm you! I'm okay, Jimmy! Oh, the left. Ah. Ah, Jimmy, I'm all right! Leave oh. me alone! Oh. Oh. Thank goodness you're safe! Oh, what a close call! But unfortunately for you, I haven't forgotten about your two swimming strikes, and that means that no more swimming for you! Please report to the timeout tent immediately! Timeout tent? I don't remember there being timeout tents! No need to thank me, Coach Rocco! Head on over now! Well, as long as you're in charge of the pool, I don't want to be here. Fine. I think the best thing about being a lifeguard is the adoration of the people. <laughs> I can't believe we're spending this perfect pool day in these silly tents. Tell me about it. There's a perfectly good pool over there and nobody's in it. I should have known better than to make Jimmy assistant lifeguard. <laughs> Look at him looking at us with his binoculars over there. And he really thinks he's a lifeguard too. Gosh, he can't even save anybody without his floaties on. That Jimmy sure makes me super aggravated. All right, you two, your time in the designated timeout tents has been completed. Finally. I hope you've learned your lesson and are ready to use the pool in accordance with the rule book. And I'll be keeping my eyes on you two. Make no mistake about that. I'm Lifeguard Jimmy, and I will be respected. I will be feared. I will be loved. Because your very safety rests in my hands. <laughs> ah, I love my job. for two hours and I've only gotten my toes wet. And if I hear that whistle one more time, there's no telling what I'll do. You know what, Coach? It appears if you want to have fun at the pool today, then we're going to have to take it into our own hands. How are we going to have fun if we can't go in the pool? Who says we need to be in the pool to have fun? Follow me. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. What's going on here? Why are you two out of your timeout tents? Your time is not up. Our time may not be up, but yours certainly is. Time to cool off. Oh, you wouldn't dare. Ah! Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop! No! Oh. <laughs> Oh, you two have no idea 
idea how many rules you just broke. Rule 37B, no usage of water blasters. Rule 59A, no raising your voice to lifeguard Jimmy. And rule 676, no disrespecting me. You two are on timeout for infinity. Fine, it was worth it. Come on, coach, let's make like a banana and split. Yeah, Ellie, let's make like a tree and, and leaves. Oh yeah? Well why don't you make like a couple bad swimmers because that's what you're being and you're never allowed in the pool again. So there, I'm adding a new rule to the book right now that says no Ellie and no Coach Rocco. Are you listening? <sighs> Man, who knew being a lifeguard was so hard? Enforcing all those pool rules sure does work up an appetite. Ah, and it appears that Casey has fixed a delicious cupcake for her favorite lifeguard. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. Ah, oh, do look who it is, Jenny, the newbie assistant lifeguard. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> Casey. Are you looking for more pool strikes? Because believe me, I would love nothing more than to give them to you. Oh no, please, Mr. Jimmy, no more pool strikes, please. <laughs> so, enjoying that cupcake, are ya? Uh, yeah, I am, as a matter of fact, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think that there is something wrong with that, in fact, Coach Rocco. Rule number 274G indicates that everyone, including the lifeguard, isn't allowed around the perimeter of the swimming pool one hour after eating. What? One hour? Let me see that. I know this rule book inside and out, and I know that there's no way that there's a rule that says that I can't go back to the pool. The rule book betrayed me. Jimmy, since you had a little bit of a snacky poo, why don't you have a little break here for an hour while we, what should we do, Coach? Uh, Casey, Ellie, why don't you come with me for some diving lessons at the swimming pool while he digests his cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jimmy. Bye. <laughs> Get back here. I'll see to it that you three never touch a swimming pool for as long as you live. Ah, I'm lifeguard Jimmy and I will have order. I will have respect. I will have cupcakes. No. Don't they know? Nobody likes a stickler for the rules. Yes, I got the kitchen. Ugh. Oh, yes, I got Ellie's room. Oh, yeah. My turn. Awesome! I got my own bedroom. Easiest challenge ever. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see who leaves their room first, give me a big thumbs up. Whoever's the first to leave loses. <laughs> Ellie got stuck in the kitchen, and Casey got stuck in Ellie's room, but I get my whole room to myself. My favorite room ever. It has everything I could possibly need. My comfy bed, my trusty basketball hoop for some ballin', and even some company. My best friend in the whole world, Jimmy, too. Ah, what more could a Jimmy need? Hey, Ellie. Hey, Casey. You know, if you want to forfeit the challenge right now and just crown me the winner, it might save you two a lot of trouble. Just saying. You win a challenge? I'll believe that when I see that, Jimmy. She's just jealous because she's stuck in the kitchen. Boy, and Casey must be really upset. Stuck in Ellie's room with all that pink. <laughs> but enough about those two. This is Jimmy time. And I want to hmm, play basketball. Yeah, what else? Where's that basketball? Huh, where is it? Oh, no, not soccer. That's Casey's. Another soccer ball? What's with all the soccer? Uh -oh. Oh. Basketball, where are you? Where'd you go? You couldn't have gotten far. Oh, no. This is a disaster. Ah! Oh, boiled again. What am I going to do? How am I going to spend a day in my room alone with no basketball? Huh, I might as well be in Ellie's room. That's it. Ellie's room. I left my basketball in Ellie's room. And Casey's in there now. <gasps> hey, Casey. Oh, I mean, uh. Hey, Casey. Uh, uh, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, yeah, w what's up? Oh, nothing. I was just uh checking in on you, that's all. <laughs> you know, between you and me, I've always thought that you were much cooler than Ellie and uh, much better at challenges and things of that <laughs> nature, too. Wait a minute. 
Jimmy, you're telling me that's all you had to tell me? Oh yeah, and um, just one more teeny tiny little thing. Do you um happen to see my basketball anywhere in that room of yours? Basketball. <gasps> uh huh. Oh, Jimmy, you mean this really awesome bouncy orange ball? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found it all right. Think I'm gonna keep this for myself. <laughs> What? You cannot keep my basketball. That is property of Jimmy. Besides, that's my number one basketball for doing spinneroonies. I need that basketball back right now. I need it yesterday. Hand it over. Hmm. Tell you what, Jimmy. You make me an offer for your precious basketball, and I'll maybe think about doing a switcheroonie, all right? Uh, maybe. A switcheroonie? For my basketball? Um, sure, okay. How about I do your homework for one week if you give me back my ball? I'll even do your math homework. Ooh, math homework, huh? Well, that's tempting. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna think about it. Uh, one second. Hey, Allie! Can you hear me down there? Casey, is that you? Uh, yeah. So, turns out I got Jimmy's precious basketball up here, and he wants to trade me it for doing my math homework for a week. Uh, what do you think? Should I take it? Jimmy, doing your homework for <laughs> any subject? That's gonna be a big no thank you for me. But he should definitely give you something that matters to him. Like his Jimmy Do cutout, ask him for that. Oh, Ellie, you're genius. Um, hang on, I'll let you know what he says. Hey, Jim Rooney. Uh, no can't do on the bath homework, but I'll maybe trade you your precious basketball for, I don't know, say, your Jimmy Two cutout? Jimmy Two? You want Jimmy Two? No way! Oh, on second hand, I guess I really do need that basketball. Oh, what to do, what to do? <sighs> well, Jimmy Two, I guess this is it. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Boy, we've had some good times over the years, haven't we? Tricked Coach Rocco like 20 times. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, it's gonna be okay. But don't worry, I am not going to let her use you in gym class. And I'm especially not gonna let her take your gold medal. You're staying with me. All right, Casey, you can have Jimmy too, but at least let me keep his medal for old time's sake. Mm. Hang on to that thought. Um, I'll let you know what I think. Be right back. Okay, Ellie, we got Jimmy too. But of course, there's a catch. Jimmy wants to keep his gold medal. What do you think? Is it worth it? Tell him no medal, no deal. And on more important matters, how do you like my bedroom so far? Your bedroom? Are you kidding? I love it. Hey, you know, you got a lot of stuff to do up here. I think I could hang out here for a long, long time. <laughs> you got yourself some competition there, Sparkles. <laughs> hey, what, what's that smell? Are you making something down there? Oh, it smells amazing. What is that? Oh, it's nothing special. I'm just cooking up my special Ellie Sparkles pancakes. Hope the smell's not too distracting for you. <laughs> Since I'm in the kitchen, I get access to all the food and I'm definitely not letting that go to waste. So I'm gonna make pancake <laughs> art. Delicious and fun. Let's try a heart-shaped pancake. <laughs> Alrighty, I think it's time. <gasps> Perfect. One down and maybe about 10 more to go and then Casey and Jimmy will come right down and eat them and leave their rooms making me the challenge winner. Easy peasy. <laughs> uh, now Ellie, you know what today is, right? It's Tuesday, it's kitchen cleaning day. Oh, but Coach, we're in the middle of this last to leave the room challenge and I'm in the kitchen, so. Uh, all right, I get it. I know you've got these challenges, so I'll just clean very quietly and leave the kitchen spotless. You won't even notice I'm here. <laughs> 
it's time for Superstar Jimmy to do his world famous move. Is he gonna go for it, Bob? I think he is, Marv. It's time for the Jimmy Sockaroony. Huh. You know, it's just not the same with socks instead of a ball. Ugh, that is rough. These must be Coach Rocco's. That does it. The time has come for me to get my ball back once and for all. And I don't care what it takes. Hey, Casey, are you still in there? Nothing. She must be asleep. I knew it. Ellie's room is so boring, it would make anyone take a nap. That means it's the perfect time for me to sneak in and get my ball back. <laughs> Give me something good to eat. Ciao. Going somewhere, Jimmy? Um, Coach Rocco, I see you found Jimmy too. Thanks for finding him for me. No, oh, I can explain everything. You see, it was, um, it was all Casey's idea. It was Casey, 100%. I think you mean this basketball is 100% Casey's. <laughs> hey, Sparkles, think we just found our first elimination of the challenge. Jimmy. No, no, no! I'm ruined! Come on, Coach Rocco, you gotta give me a do-over. I picked my own room, please. No, Jimmy, no do-overs. Now come with me. We have to talk about this cutout. How long have you had this for? <laughs> He's my best friend. I'm so sorry I let you down, Jimmy, too. March. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. Staying in the kitchen all day makes you an expert at making pancakes. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Where'd this come from? Oh, I got syrup on my brand new outfit. Mm. Guess I'll have to go clean it up. Gross. <laughs> coming down here to get pancakes or anything. And I totally wasn't gonna go get a new outfit or anything, so. This never happened? Never happened. Now, Jimmy, the issue of the cardboard cutout is serious business. I'm beginning to think that you use this thing instead of going to class yourself. Now you were awfully quiet in math class. And come to think of it, you didn't say a peep in science class. Now I'm one, I'm wondering if this is you now, Jimmy. Perhaps this whole place is another cardboard cutout. Maybe I'm a cardboard cutout. Morning already? It's my birthday! Birthday, birthday, birthday! Birthday, birthday, birthday! I'm so excited for today because it is my birthday! And nothing can ruin this day. Not even Coach Rocco and Jimmy eating my birthday cake for the past three years. Guys! But like I said, nothing will ruin it today because positive vibes all day. Right, Sparkle Squad? Yay! If you want to celebrate my birthday with me, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> it's Sally's birthday, her b -b -b birthday. And we're throwing her a super awesome surprise party this year. Coach Rocco, shake a leg, will ya? Oh, oh, thanks a lot, Jimmy. You get to carry the little box while I have to carry all the heavy one. Hey, but this box has the cake, which is the most important part. And the most yummiest part. Oh, no, no, we are not gonna eat this cake, Jimmy. We've eaten three cakes in the past three years and we both decided we are gonna make this Ellie's best birthday ever, remember? All right, fine. But on my birthday, I want cake first. Then all that party mumbo jumbo later. Coach Rocco, Jimmy! Quick, hide everything! Where She's coming! <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, Ellie, happy! 
Tuesday. Yep, happy Tuesday. Like I always say every Tuesday. <laughs> the best day of the week because that's the day when we... Well, Tuesday is cleaning day. <laughs> and thank goodness I have my trusty duster here. <laughs> so, what's with the party hat? <gasps> oh, oh the, the party hat. Yes, no, this is my cleaning hat. Because when I clean, it's a party, believe me. <laughs> What should we clean next, Jimmy? Oh, whatever you want, Coach, as long as I get to do some vacuuming. Oh, who fun. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, have fun, you guys. <laughs> Cleaning hat. You think I would fall for that? It's so nice. Jimmy and Coach Rocco are planning my surprise party. Wait a second. Jimmy and Coach Rocco are planning my surprise party? Oh, I don't know about this one. Hello? Anyone in here? All right, coast is clear, let's get started. So just to be clear, that whole cleaning thing was just a joke to trick Ellie, right? Because I am definitely not cool with cleaning today, especially not vacuuming. This is gonna be the surprise party room. We gotta decorate this whole place. And wait till you see what I got. The best game in the world. Oh boy. It's called the Coach Rocco Wheel of Chores Game. You spin the wheel, and whatever chore it lands on, you get to do. Lucky it landed on dust the walls because I got my nifty little duster here. <laughs> Coach Rocco, I have been to a lot of birthday parties in my day, and I can safely say that this is the worst party game I have ever seen. Fold the laundry, clean the toilet. What kind of party game is this? I think we better just focus on decorating. Oh, okay, party pooper, but I'm telling you, this is gonna be every kid's favorite game. It's gonna be the next Roblox. You'll see. Sure thing, Coach Rocco. Rocco! Jimmy? How's the cleaning coming along? Oh, yikes! What is going on here? <laughs> oh, no! Well, decorating isn't their strong suit. Wait a second. Aren't you supposed to blow up the balloons before you hang them up? <laughs> I guess I could help them out some. Let's see here. <laughs> party decorations, check. Party games, check. Now the only thing left is preparing the birthday cake. Oh yeah, the birthday cake. What happened to that thing? Oh yeah, I threw it over there. Oh gee, I hope it survived the crash. Let's see. Ooh. It definitely survived the crash. It looks good. It looks really good. Now, now, Jimmy, we promised Ellie we wouldn't eat her birthday cake three years in a row, remember? Of course, we could just look at it. There's no harm in that. Yeah, yeah, and what, what about if we had like an eeny weeny little piece just as like a taste test? That'd be fine, right? As long as it's a eeny weeny little oh, taste. It's the eeniest weeniest piece, Coach. Mm. That's really good. Mm. It's very yeah, good. maybe another eeny weeny little taste. I think so. Just for quality tests. Girl. Mm. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Eating sure all that. this birthday cake gets me in a festive mood. Mm. What do you say that we work on the birthday song that I've been working on forever? Yeah, all right. Here's what I got. Birthday, 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 birthday. That's all I got. Um, how about birthday, 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 birthday. This is the birthday cake song. Ooh, I like it. Let's sing as we eat. Birthday, 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 birthday. Oh no! We ate Ellen's cake again. Oh, well, 
He left one piece for her. Do you have a birthday candle? There we go. Good as new. Mm, perfect. What do you say we get to the party room and start getting ready for Ellie's big reveal? Yeah, but let's take a nap on the way there. I'm a little bit tired after eating all that cake. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm, smells good in here. Almost like my birthday cake. Oh, Jimmy, Coach Rocco. Well, I guess they meant well, but my birthday cake is ruined. I'm in a baking mood though, so it's no big deal. Let's make a new cake. Hey, this room looks different and way better. Did you put up more decorations? Oh, I don't remember blowing up all these balloons. I don't know what happened here. Then that leaves only one explanation. It's a birthday miracle. I'll call the birthday girl. Oh, Ellie. Could you meet us in the game room, please? It's chore time. Chore time. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! Happy birthday! Wow, you remembered. I totally thought you forgot. <laughs> See, I told you. She didn't suspect a thing. We got her good. <laughs> wow, look at this party room. Must have taken forever to set up, huh? Yep, but luckily, Coach Rocco and I just happen to be expert party planners. Oh, let's get to the party games. Here's my favorite. <laughs> oh, no, not this one. Now, now, let me explain. This is the Coach Rocco spin the wheel for the chores game. You spin the wheel, whatever chore it lands on, you have to do. But here's a twist. You get to pick who does the chore. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three, spin! Good one, polish the forks. And I'm gonna pick Jimmy for this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> you heard the birthday girl. On your marks, get set, go! Jimmy, 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 Jimmy! <laughs> Let's see how many forks you did. Uh, three forks. Mm, well done. <laughs> All right, now it's my turn. <laughs> no, 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 no. How about we move on to the other party activities? You know, anything but this. All right, what about a birthday cake? Mm, well, technically, yes, there is a birthday cake. It's right here. But um, we ran into some issues with it. Just a teeny issue, but I guarantee you that cake is delicious. Well, I don't know what kind of issues there could be with a cake. I'm sure it's Well, fine. it was all Jimmy's fault. He was a he's touching Go in and the cake. Guys! Guys! This cake is amazing! <laughs> Whoa! And there's enough for everyone. Uh, let's sing the song. Birthday, 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 Ellie's birthday song. Chocolate and cherries, my favorite. Oh, we're <laughs> not singing it again. Birthday, 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 Ellie's birthday song. One more time. Birthday, 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 Ellie's birthday song. Oh.